As you know, real-life motorsport is practically non-existent right now. It's because of fought by coronavirus crisis and ban of all mass gatherings and sports events too. There is no Formula 1, no IndyCar, no NASCAR, but all of these series discovered esports and virtual racing games like Formula 1 2019, Air Factor or iRacing. And I must say that IndyCar is doing the best job right now, mainly because the iRacing they are using is the most professional game and they are investing a lot of effort in this thing. They have real life graphics, real life commentators like Paul Tracy and Thompson Bell and even US national anthem before the race or old parades before the race. They were doing Indy 500 this weekend and it was awesome. 99% of the race was interesting as real TV stuff every weekend and it was simply incredible. They had almost every real driver in their homes with computers and steering wheel and again it was awesome. They even had Lando Norris as a guest from Formula 1 and Lando won last race on the road course uh, in the GP and he was going to win in virtual in the 502 because it's basically got in virtual racing and PC games. But in the last lap of this incredible thing, fully comparable with any Indianapolis from real life, Simon Pejono and Santino Ferrucci decided to act like complete losers, complete idiots and 14 year old kids uh, behind the PlayStation playing Fortnite. Simply Pajono decided to wait for the leaders and uh, when they are lapping him, he tried to hold Lando because he doesn't want to any youngster for Formula 1 to win his Indy 500. They crash and simply Pajono took Lando out. We took Lando out. Let's do it. <laughs> Where's Lando? To no, no, no. He's six seconds behind, but there's a huge pack behind him. He is? Yeah. Alright. Just make sure to not do a decision to might regret or something. I don't regret anything. What are you talking about? I'm racing. Yep, three seconds behind. Three seconds. Oh, I was spinning. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do I wanted to slow him down a bit. But I wasn't going to crash him. I just went to pit. That's going to be bad. They're not going to like that. And then, in final lap, Santino, the loser Ferrucci, running second, decided to do lead out of final straight because he wanted to win the whole thing. He ruined the awesome race. And it is shame because from what was the great advertisement on IndyCar and virtual racing and sim racing and whatever, uh, became just another online lobby breakfast with professional names and professional drivers and it is shame because Pajono and Ferrucci are grown men and if they took anybody out like this in real life they would they would be banned for life from racing and they probably would be arrested for this and Pajono also is form of Indy 500 winner so he's a he's an icon in, in Indy but no Pajono is also a complete loser losing many fans and just come into the line, I was just trying to get really up close to him, and I don't know why, but I went through him, trying to get close to him, and I mean, trying to steer a little closer to him and closer to him, because I knew the drag race would be tight, I just didn't expect the cars to go sideways, so I want, wanted to get a little closer there, but I did not expect to do that, that is for sure. So that that's my bad, and I'm sorry for our doing that to Oliver because I think that that was definitely his race there and uh no I mean also at the end of the day it's a video game and I think we all had a ton of fun and uh coming to the line man I mean it's not anything you'd ever do in real life but uh yes you can say it's only game but it's not because uh, you know how full tv graphics all the commentators all the sponsors and thousands and thousands of people watching this live on youtube or twitch or whatever else and they brought all the rigs and computers for thousands of dollars and they had spotters and everybody trained for hours and hours during the weekend. So Ferrucci and Pajano, shame on you. I hope fans will never forget your acting from yesterday. <laughs>